Hey guys, so I'm going to do a twin flame read. Um, I'm going to give you messages from your angels here. Um, for those who aren't in communication with um, their twin, that wasn't supposed to be um, the read, but that's just what's come out of my mouth. So um, I guess that's what we're doing. I guess it's not up to me. Um, the message from your angels is Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Wonderful. So I feel like the twins are starting to feel peace. Um, you know, if you've been going through this journey quite some time, um, I feel like now you'll probably not be so angsty about it. You'll be now more at peace. Or that's what your angels are trying to bring you. So be open to it. Allow it to come in. And I'm going to pull one of the goddess cards here. And we're going to see um, the alignment message. So what to do to get into alignment to help your path um, become smoother. So let's see here. <laughs> Revelation. Revelations here. So... Wow, beautiful. Shall we read this? Let's read this. The overall energy is revelations and the card number is 28. So let's see here. 28, the alignment message. Sometimes life throws you a curveball and it feels like you've been hit by lightning. Perhaps a romantic partner betrays you suddenly. An illness strikes someone close to you. A job you expected fell through. The new employee turns out to be a dud. Or you get a huge tax bill. No matter what the subject, your task is to pivot and course correct according to the needs of the event. Even if you don't understand what's happening, don't second guess yourself. Some things are not meant to be predictable. And detours may be exactly what you need. Loss or bad news aren't the only options in this situation. You may have just been offered something you've always wanted, such as a proposal from a lover, a better job or a chance to move. Your tendency might be to try and control the circumstances or worry you may not be prepared for the change. The goddess reminds you that the great goddess will never give you more than you can handle. Your alignment task is to surrender. What is in front of you? Sorry, surrender to what is in front of you. You can do this. <clears throat> so this reminds me of um, in my situation the other day, I got some news and everybody felt like, why aren't you overreacting to this news so i was like to overreact to this news would be fear it would be fear based it's not trusting what's um you know the divine purpose my course my path you know i'm now trusting that these curveballs as that message just said um are for the greater good so I hope you get that. So if you have one of these curveballs or um, even a positive, a new job offer come in, don't be prepared. Don't be scared that, you know, you can't handle it. You're supported. You're guided. This is to make the path ahead more smoother. So rather than reacting to tower moments, um, we fear because that's the resistance, that fear, that ego getting in the way. You know, it brings around um, more hurdles to climb because first, then you set yourself back to being scared and not trusting the divine rather than just aligning um, with your path, readjusting, pivoting, you know, um, choosing, not, choosing to panic or 
allow fear to take hold will just make it harder. You know, putting up a resistance just creates blockages. You know, if you trust truly that this is for your greater good, um, then what you'll see happening is it's not like other tower moments. It flows more freely. Tower moments are not here to, you know, upset you or scare you to death. They're here to um, bring you to this awakening, this alignment, um, much easier. You know, if something isn't going right, bring the tower down, start again on a path that where you can build solid. So let's see. What's the general energy? So I'm glad that it's peace. Look at that, the Four of Swords as well. Peace, resting, clarity here. For some communication actually coming in because you're not resisting that energy. Because you're feeling this at peace within yourself here. Because you have this higher knowledge and this clarity and this enlightenment here. So great cards to come out together straight away. You know... Again, when I was speaking about the tower moment, the Queen of Swords is, you know, classed as the divorcee queen. She's been through it before. So you've probably been through this tower moment before. So now you have this knowledge, this enlightenment to say, I know this is for the greater good. I know this is for my best. I don't need to be scared. I know what I know. I have this knowledge. I have this clarity. It's not for me to panic with fear. It's for me to, you know, take time, rest, be at peace with what's going on. And things will flow smoother. It's just the way it is. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, you, you may have been through this before. But, you know, you have this knowledge and this clarity that helps you rest and have peace. five of cups here and I was just thinking that some people may be um, still quite upset by tower moments and certain situations that's okay your angels are here to tell you look I understand this hurt this sorrow but I also want to want you to feel at peace and you know have that knowledge here that what's going on is for your greater good and you will have that knowledge afterwards you know after you've been through it um you'll understand why it had to happen that way so it's okay not to be okay but your angels want you to know this situation right now is for the best what you should do is rest you know seek information but rest here if you're not sleeping at night because of um, sorrow, um, yeah, your angels want you to rest right now, like I said, there's a lot going on with um, planetary movements and things like that, so just ground your energy, be nurturing to yourself here, I feel like prayers and meditation will always help you, the page of wands, so definitely getting some information here a message or some information that might be quite upsetting to you okay so if information comes in about your twin and it's quite upsetting the angels would rather you act with peace and that knowing that knowledge that clarity the decisions and path changes course changes they're for your greater good just trust and you'll feel at peace here but information coming in. Okay. Revelations coming in, yeah? Oops. Eight of Cups. So your twins definitely like walked away from you here. Um, but I feel like you should walk away from, you know, this disturbed peace of this five of cups this is sadness this is sorrow 
So if you've had some bad news come in, just remember, remember Ashan Shanti's message here. We have the King of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Yeah, let go of this burden. Give it to your angels. Give it to the Divine. Six of Cups. And Six of Wands. So I definitely feel like... Um, Carrying these memories of what's gone on, even the good times, the good memories can be quite a burden on you here. Made me think of like Facebook memories and things like that flashing up. They could be quite heavy on you while you're on this path. I feel like some twins may be feeling like, okay, I'm walking away now. I'm putting this out of my life with the Queen of Swords. I'm having a break from this situation. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from this sadness for my own peace of mind here. You know, um, and like I said, um, reminiscing on the past could be quite, quite a burden on you. So it could be coming too much. And um, your task is to lay down the burden here. And I feel like um, this information or these messages you get, um, they're going to make you want to act one of two ways with this King of Wands, like fiery Mars rage or, you know, just quite serene with this page of pentacles, like, okay, this is the information I've got, you know, I'm just starting out with this, so I'm going to keep it calm. I'm going to stay grounded. Some people, like I said, may just erupt in this Mars energy. Depending, you know, where your birth chart is, because I know we have a lot going on with Mars at the moment. But um, so, yeah. And those of you who remain calm in these tower moments... Um, are going to successfully, uh, successfully overcome, you know, this spiritual lesson that's in front of you right now. You're asked to leave these burdens behind. You know, um, walk on from this. Learn to let go here. Learn to be at peace, knowing what your destined path in front of you is is meant for you regardless you know whether you communicate or not whether you're sad right now or not it's the best thing you can do is learn to let go then you can overcome these challenges successfully with the six of wands i feel like this um king of wands mars energy here like i feel like you may want to just lash out but um, I, th I think you'll make the right choice and just release with this Ten of Wands here. You'll let go. This is your soulmate, you know. Um, this is your twin here with the Six of Cups. You know it and you know, like, everything it comes with. Look at these cups full. You know everything that comes with it. The good, the bad, you know... Um, everything these cups are full for each other it's more than just um you know six of cups with nothing in this is a connection it's always going to be there so you don't have to worry learning to let go of this worry um and not react with this fiery energy um take action move forward here instead that will bring you success that will bring you success, being able to, okay, I'm going to lay down these burdens. Maybe I'm going to stop looking at the memories if they're affecting me or upsetting me. Maybe I'm going to stop doing it and I'm going to walk on from this. With the knowledge that what's meant for you cannot pass you by. Your angels want you now to be 
having this peace and tranquility and this smoother road ahead. So when a tower moment comes in, it's not over panicking. It's not overreacting. It's not falling back down with fear or ego. You know, it's still having, you know, that knowledge that it's for my better good. It's this revelation of, I understand that why things are happening in certain ways. And I trust why things are happening in certain ways. That trust is that revelation. Because then you choose the path of least resistant. You get that knowledge. You have this knowledge that this is your twin, okay? Let that keep you safe. You don't need to overreact to every bit of information that comes in. Um, you know, you don't to be, need to be this overwhelmed and sadness here. Be at peace. Walk away, leave behind those troubles you're not supposed to carry with you. Lay down these ten wands here. With the knowledge that your angels are carrying this for you. You don't have to do all the work by yourself. Your angels are here to help you specifically. Learning to let go lets you come out of this soul lesson successfully. Then I feel here like your twin is starting to take notice of you now. It's like all this is dark and just you are standing out. So if your twin here is coming out of um, the dark night of the soul or coming into this light and coming into this awakening, the first thing they see is going to be you. That's how I'm feeling. This is not something to panic about if you've just got new information regarding your twin. It's not time to panic. It's time for peace and the smoother path ahead because you've been given information now. Rest easy. Leave it behind knowing that this will catch up with you. You know, knowing that they're on a path and they're catching up with you. It's like almost you don't need to even look behind because you know they're coming. That's that Queen of Swords energy, that knowledge. And that's what will keep you in perfect peace. Trust in the divine and he shall keep you in perfect peace. Good luck, guys.